Hey friends, uh, today we will see how to configure the Azure AD Sync. Uh, so uh, you will uh, synchronize the Azure AD with your domain, with your local domain uh, Active Directory. Uh, this is uh, has to be done so that uh, Office 365 and other cloud-based applications can work without any issues. Okay. To do that, first on your local DC, uh, download the directory sync tool and install it. Uh, this is the tool that uh, uh, it's used to synchronize with the Azure AD. So double click the tool, directory sync uh, tool once you install on one of your AD and uh, give your uh, Office 365 or Azure admin uh, username and password. next uh, you can click add forest and give your forest name and the uh, admin name uh, domain admin which has rights to that identity domain service so I have already added the forest as contestor.com click next leave as a default click next and uh, you, here you will synchronize the password uh, with Azure AD sync feature. Click next. Click next. First you do not synchronize it. Remove this checkbox and click finish. I will tell you why. So once you have done that, uh, then you need to go to see program files microsoft azure ad sync ui shell this particular path and click on mis client so this is the synchronization service where you will configure what needs to be synced with your active directory so you need to click on the connections tab okay and uh, click on your domain So this will open the connector design. So click on configure directory partitions and click on containers and give the password. And click OK. So this will show all the containers that are available. Uh, so in general when let's say for office 365 you should only synchronize the users data with the ad so and never uncheck uh, on top of the domain and check it because it will cause a different kind of a behavior so always uncheck one by one and just leave the one which uh, you want to synchronize so it's always the users that you want to synchronize with the Active Directory Azure AD. Click OK and again click OK. So now you have set the connection. So now again uh, go back to the Directory Sync tool. Double click on it. So what this basically does is uh, it creates a schedule task called Azure AD Sync uh, Schedule Task on the this one in the Task Manager, and uh, you can see various options what it does and what particular thing it does by going to the task. So again, you click next, leave the default, click next, click next, click next, click next, and now you click synchronize now, and click finish. So this will initiate the synchronization. To see the status of the synchronization, you need to open the synchronization service manager and click on operations uh, tab. And you can see the synchronization is currently happening. 
so this is how you configure the azure ad uh, sync so once uh, the entire synchronization is completed it, it will give a success message and if there are any errors that might happen it will show you at this stage hope this has been useful for you and thank you for watching